Uh, the, the trade deadline is coming in fast, Kev. 6 p.m. Eastern time Tuesday. So let's do a little more deadline daydreaming. I think Juan Soto, Kevin, he is dreaming of 6 p.m. Just the just the clock striking six, and he knows for sure where he's playing. Listen to what he said just a couple days ago. For me, just the same thing. I just want to get it over with and see what's going to happen. I mean, just go over that day and start over here or whatever. That I just see the jersey you're wearing on. I mean, you're wearing the Nationals jersey, you're here. And right now I'm here and I'm a national. So I just go out there as a professional, as a national, and I just play for them as, as hard as I can. It don't matter whatever they say and whatever the rumors, stuff like that. I'm gonna give my 100% every time I'm wearing this jersey. Yeah, I, I can understand uh, the 23-year-old superstar in Soto. He's just anxious to be done with it. You know, he, he wanted to get an extension done. Uh, the reports are it didn't happen, couldn't agree on the numbers. And he was unhappy that that they, those figures came out, were leaked public. in a report, became yep. public, and Valid. then now it's just rumors swirling, swirling, swirling constantly. No, no one's asking about the game or asking about your swing or the All Star experience. They're asking about, hey, what do you think about maybe being traded? So again, you can sort of sympathize for Soto having to go through this. So I, I don't want you to to talk from Soto's perspective, Kev. I want you to put yourself in the front office of one of these potential suitors and dream about having this lefty bat in your lineup for the next few years. Yeah, so I'm gonna dream right now. Let me just dream, Big. and I just dream that he's gonna go to St. Louis because I dream about protection for Juan Soto. I dream of that 243 average, they don't pitch to Juan Soto. Mm. You got Paul Goldschmidt, you got Nolan Arenado that are hitting in front and behind you. So I dream that he can go to the Cardinals I dream that it makes those Cardinals that just the just obviously you add a kid like this. It's like, oh, look at that three, four, five, or two, three, four. Or these days you never know. You might lead off Paul Goldsmith, hit Soto <laughs> and Arenado. I mean, sure. you might go one, two, three. That's what yeah. we see these days. I see Aaron Jez leading off. I'm like, anything could happen in this game. Anthony Rizzo let off, let off for the for the Yanks and the and the Cubbies back in the day, but I dream about that. I dream about maybe a guy like Patrick Corbin if they want to go and add some pitching. I know the numbers are terrible, but let's go back just a couple years. Yeah. A couple years when we're talking about Patrick Corbin. Like, he's got a filthy wipeout slider. And this is where that change of scenery I was talking about a little bit ago. This is where it can work. And you buy low and you sell high. Mm. This is a perfect example of a guy with struggle bunny numbers. The sky is falling. Team's falling apart. All of my pitchers are on the DL. Stuff's happening. Soto's gone. And then, boom, you get a guy like Patrick Corman. Back to you. I'm sorry talking too much. Well, no. And, and, now, and now you're – I think you're getting the dreams going for a few of those veterans in St. Louis too, right, who may be on their last ride together. Yeah. And Albert Pujols, Yadi Molina, Adam Wainwright, you know, doing some daydreaming. What better way to send them off into the sunset than with – a World Series ring, which, by the way, Kevin Millar owns one. It was won in 2004, the Boston yeah, Red Sox, when they, ended, when they ended a curse. Well, I don't even know if there's one in there. Oh, there's only about a couple of them. Late breaking You can't news. buy these, by the way, at the sporting goods store. They, you can't no. buy these. They just... Yeah, you just got to win these things. I don't know. That's weird. I got embarrassed. Sorry, guys. Back. So, Kevin, I'm going to daydream for another one of your former teams. And not, obviously, you didn't play in St. Louis with the Red Sox. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays, okay? Uh, if I'm in the six, I'm thinking maybe, you know what, forget the left-handed bat. I know that's been talked about for the Blue Jays, balancing out the lineup. Uh, the lineup's pretty good against right-handed pitching. I'm okay rocking with the lineup. Maybe go with a left-handed arm, like a Carlos Rodon. Hmm. How about that if the Giants elect Ooh. to sell? Or you know what, if you don't, don't want to pay that price or if San Francisco elects to keep them, I'll keep dreaming. I'll dream about a reunion with a former Blue Jays prospect named Noah Syndergaard, who you know is going to be available from the Angels. Bring him back what? north of the border. Fortify that staff. Maybe you can help out the bullpen, too, with a David Robertson, veteran closer for what? the Chicago Cubs. But if Robertson's not available and you do want to help the pen, I, I, I did read that John Schneider, interim manager for the Blue Jays and the staff, they have introduced a DJ to the Blue Jays locker. 
Well, what about oh, a former Blue okay. Jays reliever who's also a moonlighting Sack. DJ in DJ Dan Plesak? It's the best of both worlds. Hot ice. I mean, good Lord. Wow. I mean, can you imagine Noah Syndergaard walking down the sixth with his shirt off, throwing 97, doing his little stuff and workouts and the turf and the six would be going nuts right there. It doesn't even start opening up till 2 a.m. The six. I don't know. I'm speaking of experience. Sorry, guys. No, no. You read that somewhere. You read Gina. He read that somewhere. You know, on the internet. Yeah, he didn't on, never experience yeah, that. that. He was in bed first. Yeah. Early. Last. Know. Last. Kev, let's let's daydream for Wilson Contreras. He is like Juan Soto. He wants this this to be over with, right? Just get the deadline done. Either lock me up or trade me, Cubs. If you're Wilson, where are you dreaming of going? I mean, I'm dreaming of the Big Apple. I'm dreaming of Buck Showalter. I'm dreaming of the Mets. The, the Mets have three home runs from their catcher. Are you kidding me? Is this not the perfect fit? Dream might come true. Like, you wake up and you got this dude, passionate, winning type player, we call that. And you want him on your side. You don't want to be on the other side of Wilson Contreras. You want him on your side. He's yes. that foxhole guy. You don't, you don't want to get in the way when he's on the other side because I think he's got some heavy hands, if you were to ask me. Yeah, well, hey, uh, our friend David Ross. Ross, he, you know, he's seen Wilson Contreras grow up from that rookie who came up in 16, started Game 7 of the World Series, Wilson Contreras and has matured into a leader. He's learned how to channel those emotions and his energy into a leadership role. Yeah, I could see how that would help any clubhouse. But in New York, Kev, now I, I'm thinking about, hey, you got to to be the champs, you got to beat the champs. Well, that would be the Atlanta okay. Braves. So now the New York Mets adding Wilson Contreras to compete against William Contreras. They just started together in the All-Star game. Oh, wow. All right. All right, 1-5. Oh, I like where your head's at. I like. I, okay. Uh, we are told uh -oh. that there is some news breaking. So, Jack Curry, the Yes Network, the Yankees have acquired oh. Montas and Trevino from oh, Oakland. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Oh, so, my. So, Lou Trevino, who, who we've had on the show before, and Frankie Montas, you know, one of the better starting pitchers available ahead of this deadline in a package deal. The Yankees already got Scott Efros from the Cubs earlier today, and that one kind of went unnoticed after the hater news broke. But Brian Cashman and the Yankees staying busy, Kevin. So Montas, Trevino, and Efros, the Monday haul for New York. I will tell you this right now. Trevino is going to be the guy in here that's like the secret little diamond in the rough. I love his stuff. Once again, the Oakland A's are a tough group right now to kind of get going. A lot of losses at this level. It stinks. I don't care how much money or what you're in the show. Yeah. When you lose every day, it wears you out mentally. And those are that it should wear you out mentally. Seriously, you shouldn't just be waiting every two weeks. I love this move by the Yankees. The, well, Frankie Montas is a star. I mean, they, that stuff right there plays on any stage there is. Mm. But what a deal for the Yanks, and this is what makes it exciting. You're going to sit here and see a lot of fun, creative stuff. Well done by Brian Cashman, the pinstripes. All right, we'll pass more information along as it happens 